Hi guys, welcome to the Keep Essex Active YouTube channel. Uh, my name is George Jardine and I'm just going to take you for a really nice and simple 20 minute workout um, that will be great to do at home, get you moving, get you active for the day, hopefully make you feel like you've achieved something there at the end of it. Minimal space needed, really simple exercises um, and yeah, hopefully you can do this with your families um, and or just on your own uh, just to give you that good pump for the day. Okay, so please make sure you're warmed up before we start so that you're ready to exercise, you've got the heart rate pumping a little bit, got the muscles moving a bit as well. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with high knees for 30 seconds. So each, each set is going to be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So high knees, we're going, if we're going for low impact, we're just going to bring the knee up to opposite elbow. Okay, I'll do it side on as well. Knee up to opposite elbow. Okay, nice and slow. If we are doing high impact, so you can take the run in if, you're, if you've got young kids, for example, who want to do this, we're just going to pump the knees, try and get as fast as we can. Okay, so that's going to be our first exercise for 30 seconds. So in three, two, one, off we go. Nice high knees. Stood up nice and straight. Nice steady breath as well. Um, 15 seconds left, halfway through. So I get a 30 second rest once this is done. And then we're moving on to our next exercise. So five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Next up, a bit more complex. So we're going to squat, we're going to jump, and then one, two, three, four. Squat, jump, one, two, three, four. If we can't take the jump and we're struggling with our knees, we're just going to squat walk. Okay, keeping a real focus on keeping our back straight. So in three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Big jump forwards. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. Try and make sure you're not doing it on a slippery surface so we're as safe as possible. Okay, so next up, now we've done that, we're going to move on to our speed skaters. So, speed skaters, over onto one side touching the ground, over onto the other side touching the ground. Okay, nice and simple, nice easy movements, not putting too much pressure on your knee. So, in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Nice steady pace, something that we can keep, keep going without stopping. So if you need to take it a bit slower, feel free to do so. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next up we've got lunges. So all you're going to do for a lunge, take a big step forward, and then you're going to bend the front knee and the back knee at the same time until you're at 90 degrees. That is a lunge, step back in, then the other side. So just repeating that movement nice and simply for 30 seconds. Okay, so three, two, one, off we go. Lunging for 30 seconds. Deep breaths in and out as we're doing this. In as we go down, out as we come back up. And rest. Okay, next up we've got squats. So squats are really simple. Act like you're sitting on a chair. Down and up. Down 
and up. It's really important when you're at the top of that squat, you tense your glutes, tense your bum cheeks together, really give that extension through the hips. So, nice firm movements, making sure we're getting all that power through our big muscles in the body. <clears throat> Off we go. Nice, and good rhythm. You can put your hands on your head if you want. You can put your hands over your shoulder. I like to just hold mine out in front. Again, trying to make sure my back's straight the whole time. Sitting on that invisible chair. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so next up we've got shoulder taps. All this involves is getting down into a plank position and we're just touching our shoulders over that 30 second period. It's important with this guys that we don't rotate as we're tapping our shoulders. Okay, we're trying to keep our shoulders on our hips level and tapping those shoulders. So it involves tensing the core, making sure you're nice and strong. Off we go. Again, take it at whatever pace works for you. So 15 seconds left. Breathing through, nice and deep, and rest. Okay, next up we've got bear crawl. So, back onto all fours, okay? Making sure our back is nice and straight, so you're not curving up like this. Nice straight back, and all we're gonna do, take those knees off the floor. Opposite arm, opposite leg, moving at the same time, forwards and backwards. If you've got kids, see how many laps they can do of the room in one in the 30 seconds. Off we go. Again, breathing is really important. And rest. Next up we've got crab crawl. So we're on our back this time. So all fours, feet and hands on the floor. Just pick those hips up. Again, opposite hand, opposite leg, moving. Okay, so we're moving sideways. And just keeping it nice and steady, whatever pace you want. Again, get the kids to do as many laps as they can. Off we go. deep breaths. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, and for our last, uh, for our second last exercise, we've got crunches. So crunches, we're lying on the floor. Breathe in as you come down, and breathe out as you come up. We're not coming all the way up to a seated position. We're coming up about 45 degrees. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Again, making sure we're getting that breathing right. Three, two, one, off we go. In, out, in, out, in, out with that breath. Take it at your own pace. If you can do faster, then great. If not, no worries. Remember, we've got our hands by our head or over our shoulders just to stop us from cheating. Okay, and rest. Next up, really simple. We've just got a plank. We're just going to hold a plank for 30 seconds. So, 
on our elbows, feet out, weight over the shoulders and on those toes and holding for 30 seconds. If you need to take a rest, drop to your knees for a quick breather and then back up. Okay, four, three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds. Some people find it easier if they shut their eyes, focus on their breathing. Again, making sure that core is nice and strong. Not letting our hips drop or lift too far. Nice neutral spine. Try not to look up too much either and rest. Okay, so really simple now guys. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the top and start again. One more round of each. 30 seconds, high knees to start with. Um, take some water on board if you've got some. 10 seconds of rest left. Hopefully you're finding this nice and simple but getting a good sweat on at the same time. Off we go. Pumping those legs, pumping those arms at the same time. Take it at your own pace. Remember if you need to slow it down and do the low impact ones, that's fine too. 15 seconds left, halfway through. Breathing nice and deeply. And rest. Okay, next up, we've got our squat jumps and steps. So, like we did before, nice low squat, jumping forwards, four steps backwards. 12 seconds of rest left. We're smashing this, guys, well done. Um, really, like I said, really simple movements, but really good and effective. Off we go. Jump forward. One, three, four. Jump forward. One, two, three, Jump forward. One, two, three. Swing those arms as you're making that jump. And rest. Okay, next up, we've got our speed skaters. So like we did before, stepping to one side, touching the ground, stepping to the other side, touching the ground, allowing that leg to come behind as you, as you lean over to touch the floor. 10 seconds of rest left. Again, if you need water, take some on board. In five, four, three, two, one. Off we go, speed skaters. Nice steady pace for you, whatever's gonna work best. Nice slow steps. Should feel this, especially in your glutes. And rest. Okay, next up we've got our lunges. So like we did before, one big step forward, bend the knees. One big step forward, bend the knees. Making sure we're pushing through that front heel. Okay, so the front foot, pushing through that heel to come back up. In 10 seconds, we're gonna start that round. Three, two, one, off we go. Nice, steady rhythm that we can keep up for the whole 30 seconds. Low impact. As before, in, out, in, out, in, out and rest. Next up we've got our squats. So, like we did before, sitting on a chair, invisible chair, 
and then back up to the top, extending through those hips and tensing our glutes really to get that power. Again, we've still got 10 seconds of rest left. Really important that we make the most out of that. Try not to hunch over, try to stand up straight, breathe in some deep breaths. Off we go. Back nice and straight. Again, hands wherever you want them. Breathing in, out, in, out, in, out. Keep it going guys, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so now we're on the upper body circuit again. Final time we're doing all of these exercises. So, shoulder taps, nice plank, one, two, one, two. If you need to drop onto your knees and do it like that, that's fine as well. Okay, just take it nice and easy. And we've got five seconds of rest left. And then we're straight into it. Off we go. Tap in, nice slow rhythm. If you need to slow it down. Again, trying to keep those hips and shoulders as level as possible while we're doing this. And rest. Okay, next up we've got bear crawl. So, all fours, walk in front, walking forwards and backwards. Or if you've got kids, try and get them to do laps of the room. Okay, but opposite arm moving with the opposite leg. So if my right arm's moving, my left leg is moving. Just makes that movement a bit easier. Really important, we tense these core muscles, keep our hips down. So we're looking after our lower back. Off we go. Big deep breath. And rest. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, crab crawls now. So, on our backs, feet and hands on the floor, lifting those hips up, opposite arm, opposite leg, as with the bear crawls. Focusing on keeping those hips up, again, tensing the glutes, take the pressure off the back. In three, two, one, off we go. So, moving sideways, or again, you can get your kids to do laps of the room. Ten seconds left. and rest. Okay, next up we've got crunches. So, sat feet flat on the floor, like we did before, hands by your head or over your shoulders, just to make sure we're not throwing our weight forwards, because that's not giving us the work that we want. Okay, so in 12 seconds, hands by our head, lifting to 45 degrees, back down, lifting, back down. Okay. Really focusing on those core contractions. Off we go. And rest. Okay, so final exercise for the final time is our plank. 
like we did before, keeping those hips nice level position. If you need to retract those shoulders as well, okay, nice neutral position for the spine. As we do with everything, looking after our lower back, making sure our core is engaged. Okay, so in three, two, one, off we go. Nice and stable, deep breaths. Some people like to clasp their hands together, some people like to lay their hands flat on the mat. Whichever suits you, whichever is more comfortable. Deep breaths and rest. Wow. Okay guys, so we are done. That is our workout completed. Okay, nice 20 minute quick burner. Okay, hopefully gets you active, hopefully gets you moving around a bit. and makes you feel good about the end of the day. Okay, so um, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, check out all the social media stuff in the links below. And thanks for coming along guys. Really good session, well done.